today we'll be performing the IDE installation for Terraform. To, to start with, is IDE really mandatory for Terraform execution? The answer is no. We can simply execute the commands from uh, command prompt and that would in fact create the resources in uh, Terraform, delete it, manage it. Every command that we use can be used in command prompt. So why do we need IDE? So in an ideal case, we'll be having the infrastructure, we'll be maintaining the state files. There are different files that you maintain. We'll be having the configurations in different files. And to access it easily, to access our code, and to execute the commands, IDE is needed. And I've used different IDEs for Terraform. And the one that uh, best fits is Visual Studio Code. So we'll be installing Visual Studio Code, and we'll be installing the plugins that makes the Terraform code easier. So we have a Terraform plugin which we can install in our uh, Visual Studio Code. Let's see it in action. Let me go to Oops. So we need to navigate to codes.visualstudio.com download. And I'm gonna download for Windows. So it has been downloaded. Accept, next, next, next. Create a desktop icon. Next, install. So this pretty much sums up the installation. Post this, we'll look into how to uh, install the plugin within the Visual Studio Code. And we'll, we'll try to execute a simple Terraform command as well from the Visual Studio Code. It's done. Let's go here, extensions, and let's search for Terraform. So this one, whichever has a tick next to it, is the aggregated plugin. Let's install this one. This is Arshikov Terraform. So what this does ideally is that whenever we type in something or whenever we do some kind of a uh, coding in Terraform, this autofills it or this provides the syntax to it. it it's very user friendly and it's very easy to do things in Terraform. So yeah, that's, that's done. Let's open a folder. Let me create a folder. create a file terraform.tf so tf would be the extension that we will be following terminal new terminal so this is where we will be passing the commands yep so we can access terraform from here as well so let me do a simple uh, here we haven't aligned AWS or any provider with this Terraform, but still we'll be able to install the provider plugins. Navigate to Terraform registry. Browse providers. AWS. You can choose any provider that you want. Let's copy this. We don't need 
like this let's save it let's do a terraform in it so there you go the provider plugins are being installed at the back end so which ideally means the visual studio code is intact the terraform is working fine and visual studio code and the plugins are working fine as well so if we see over here we'll be able to see the provider plugin as well over here so this is the provider one okay this pretty much sums up our session today hope this was helpful thanks